Scar and I bring a new Pokemon Prism part 22. I keep on not saying Nuzlocke and I'm not sure why. Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke part 22 in the last part we took on the pink and blue palette patroller. Of course we also did a couple other things and I'm just like trying to check to see if I didn't miss anything because I thought I could swear I thought I didn't check the left side but I guess I did after all so kind of ran for no reason. Cool. But I try to search for shiny Pokemon in the Providential Park because there's like a little mini game there while well, I had Aggron and accidentally battled every trainer on uh, Route 81 and yeah, I really didn't want to, but I ended up doing it anyway. So fun. But either way, like I mentioned, we took on the Pallet Patrollers and there's one more left and you see him up here. And of course, let's go introduce our Pokemon here today. We got ourselves... Scar, the true knight, the Typhlosion, the fire type Pokemon, holding the lucky egg, flame wheel, double kick, willow whips, and cut. We also got special attack is higher now instead of the speed. Speed is second highest. Like last episode, speed was the highest. Met during the day in Oxala City at level 10. Strong will with the blazed ability. We also got Bailed the Crobat. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. The poison flying type. Poison Bar, Bite, Fly, Sludge Bomb, and Razor Leaf. And it has speed as the highest. And attack being the second highest. Yeah, okay. I'm, I thought I had that wrong. Meta the Night Mount Cave level 8. Somewhat stubborn with the Inner Focus ability. He also got Magnus the Pupitar, the Magnificent One, the Rock Ground type. Hearthstone with Bite, Rock Throat, Mud Slap, and Dig. And he has attack being the highest, defense being the second highest. Method in the day and Aqua Mines level 5. Quick Temper with the Shed Skin ability. We got Riptide, the Fraligator, the Water type Pokemon with Mystic Water, Water Gun, Aqua Jet Bite, and Slash. With attack being the highest, defense being the second highest. Met the Night Laurel City at level 15. Quick Temper with the Torrent ability. Now we got Arlo, the Meganium, the Jungle Boy, the Grass type Pokemon, holding the Confused Guard with Spring Butts, Tackle, Rock Smash, and Poison Powder. And it has the Fence being the highest, Special Defense being the second highest. Met the Night Spurs City at level 10. Quit, uh, likes to fight with the Overgrow ability. I don't know why I always start with the Q whenever I go likes to fight or likes to do something. Because I did that in the last episode and I'm not sure why. But we got five Pokemon. Unfortunately, but it, it's fine either way. Do I have born berries just so I could settle my OCD? I do not. I do not. I do not. I do not. We also stole uh, the metal coat from uh, the, the Agron because I thought for a second I screwed that up and just gave him the Agron with the item I wanted to take away. I look more like an evil person by doing it in front of the man, but you know, it's recommended that you do it earlier. I just decided to keep it because I don't know if it helps out with steel type moves had I chose to use Agron. Um, but either way, we got ourselves Pallet Patroller Red right here, so let's go battle him. Guess what, idiot? Chia! You're too late! Chia! We already have everything that we need! Chia! Chia! Pallet Patroller Red would like to battle though with the Soul Rock. Interesting. Okay. Uh, la 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Let's go with Riptide. See, Soul Rock's a tricky one because he can have Solar Beam, but he could also have Fire Moves, which is why I was thinking either or. Let's just Aqua Jet it. Solrock is not even red, man. He's orange. Like, I don't know if you know this, but he's orange. Alright. This keeps fire spinning me. Alright, could you not? Could you, like, not? But yeah, this episode's gonna be a very, very good one. I, I hope you realize this. And it's very story-driven, because this is 
up to the climax of uh, the Palette Patroller storyline, in my opinion at least. Parasect. Oh, we know who to switch in for you, baby boy. Baby boy. Is a baby boy? Is a baby boy? I thought it was gonna be a baby girl, but it's a baby boy. You might get flame wheeled in the face. Freaking mushroom. You freaking parasite. You freaking crab. You freaking spider. You freaking I don't know mantis. What? Ah, oh, effects boar. Why can't you have dry skin so I can kill you quicker, dude? It don't matter. Put me to sleep. That's, you know, that sounds accurate. It's the effect of that. Seeking gave me problems last time. Uh oh. Uh, does that have Stormfront? This is another orange Pokemon coming out. I'm at a. Yeah. Yeah. Razor Leaf. Why didn't I do that last time? I forgot that I have Razor Leaf. Seeking, uh, can't take Bale. Very evenly leveled, too. Perfect. It should be very perfect. I wish I would crit. I don't think I critted once. I should take a Hydro Pump. You're not specially all that, so... You think you're all that with the bag of chips? Oh, finally! Crit! That's good. Does anybody think they're all that? with the bag of chips, like literally, like they're holding a bag of Lay's and they're like, I'm all that, and then they use eat chips. I don't know. Nasty plot, I'm learning that again, I don't know. And it's okay, man, I don't want a nasty plot. It's okay, it's okay. Two more Pokemon. Arcanine. Yeah. Well, Reptile's the only one that needs to be level 37, so. It's fine. You do have a Thunder Fang, but we took it well last time. But now you're a little bit higher leveled, and you have Intimidate. Yikes. This is Aqua Jet anyway. I might have to switch out. Can I take this well? I could take one more. Alright, well, Aqua Jet should outspeed. Please don't crit. Please do not. Okay, okay. I could kill it. Yeah, Arcanine's dead. Level 37. One more Pokemon, Flareon. I would love to stay into that, but let's go with Magnus instead. Do you have fighting moves? I don't know if you do. Level 38, this is his ace. And I kind of forgot that Pallet Blue had his Vaporeon, if I'm being honest. Rock throw or dig? I'm pretty sure Flareon's faster. Let's just dig. Let's see what else he has. I flinched, so it don't matter. I fire spinned. I got fire spinned, I mean. Doesn't seem to have anything. I need a heal. Like, badly. Oh, nice crit! Oh! As in, you shall receive, but I kind of meant so more towards the Razor Leaf. But it's good anyway. It's really good. Palette Red was defeated. No matter. You're just like your father. He who disobeyed his roots to strive for popularity. As a self-proclaimed Pokemon Master. Jaw! Well, Jaw! Now all that will change. Jaw! Your family has betrayed Naljo for the last time. Jaw! The proud culture of Naljo will be awoken once again. Jaw! He's talking smack about my family, dude. Not about my mom, who's probably still at the campsite. Don't you talk smack to my mom, and my dad, and my f just all my family. Alright, let's go heal right quick. Yeah, I just don't feel too comfortable with that. Um, yeah, it's alright if I keep Scar out, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm kind of forgetting on the thing. Is this just one big circle? 
Okay, super repel. Alright, yeah, it's just one big circle. I'm still confused, Red. Why are we here? And why do we have to keep on wearing spandex? Again, this is not spandex! Chia! It's a traditional Naljo garb! Chia! As I already told you, Cha, Andy, Cha, we have finally finished searching Cha, the region for the orbs of the Naljo Guardians. Cha. Once Varanius wakes up, Naljo will return to the paradise that our forefathers once experienced. Cha. Why is it just the three of us here? I heard one of the other guys got arrested. Well, what about the other two? They are also traitors. They viewed us as criminals who just want money and rare Pokemon. We're not Team Rocket. We just want outsiders to stop interfering with our almost forgotten culture. But... They were trying to help us get money so we could cover even more ground. After all, the end is just... Shut up! Money doesn't interest me. Money is a part of what ruined Naljo. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I might have to keep this gig off my resume. You're going to pay for betraying me too! Chia. My world has no such thing as a fire escape! Chia. Understood? Chia. Do you remember what I did to that Team Rocket who tried to steal my Pokemon before? Chia. Please, I'd like to forget all about that! Wait, that kid! Actually followed us back here? Yeah, you damn straight. I heard the whole thing, Andy. Why do you insist on standing in our way? This creature and it breathing are the key to Naljo future safety. You sound unsure about everything you just said right there. Varanius itself could bring the seas to a boil if he is so desired. Jaw! At last. Jaw! The power to protect Naljo is within reach! Jaw! While waking from its slumber, still weakened from its long sleep, it'll be mine to catch. Jaw! This embodiment of fire, war, and destruction! Jaw! All mine! Jaw! Varanius! You've awakened! Chia. You've been asleep for centuries, Chia. Now just in dire need of you and the three other guardians, Chia. Now Joe culture is vanishing, Chia. And now Joe descendants have given up your vision of old and accept foreigners, Chia, with open arms, Chia. No, no. Uh, uh, what? Uh, why would you attack me? I'm a descendant. Oh my leg! <laughs> it's broken! Oh, it didn't hurt me. That Pokemon stole the other orbs. Officer, there they are! Looks like we were able to finally track you guys down. We're locking up for all of you. Wow, I cannot read today. We're looking up. We're locking you all up for good. Wait, where are the green and yellow ones? No matter, we're making progress. Hey kid, are you a part of this group as well? No, officer. The fanatic in red has been plotting for years to wake up the protectors. You mean the ones from all the old stories? Indeed. But wait, why did Varanius attack them and not you? 
Wait a minute. You remind me of someone I saw on TV once. Wait. Lance is really your father? The legendary dragon trainer? Well, it all makes sense now. You seem confused. Let's return home and I'll explain everything to you. Hey, Agron, how's it going, man? Yeah, I wish you were on my team, but oh well. We're in a bad situation and we need your help. You see, Lance is the reincarnation of the messenger. Hmm, who is that messenger was? Well, allow me to start from the very beginning. The very, very, very beginning. Starting with the dinosaurs. Thousands of years ago, Naljo was an isolated region which was the wish of the guardians. Varanius created Naljo as an image of its own ideal environment. It decided to have community with a high value system where all humans and Pokemon were free from all of the troubles brewing outside of Naljo. Each guardian was handed an island to rule over. While they ruled very differently, the agreement was that the rest of the world was not to interfere with the Naljo natives, where instead of fighting over our differences, everyone would now work together to solve problems. The names of the four guardians were Varanius, Raiwato, Libabil, and Fumbako. Each guardian held their own orb which contained the very source of their powers. Of them, Rewata would watch down upon his area. In order to ensure everyone was kept out of trouble, Fambako, who was the guardian of the nature itself, ensured that the areas of the region were off limits to any intervention. It understood the necessity of using domestic Pokemon and it appreciated the bond a human could develop with this Pokemon. Still, it's unwanted nature to run its course without any needless meddling. Libabil, who was the most hostile out of all the m out of, of them all. Could not say that right now, it's Jesus. Agron. It's all your fault. Controlled the seas surrounding Naljo. Explorers who got close to the shore of Naljo would be unlikely to return home alive again. And finally, we have Varanius, which you encountered earlier. Back in the day when Varanius was walking the earth, outsiders foolish enough to come to our land ended up burned to ash by the mighty flames of Varanius. The ones Choosing the brave path of fleeing from it would end up with charred scars of his hateful stare upon their backs. Not even Pokemon were safe from Varanius' wrath. The messenger had the responsibility to relay message, messages from the guardians to the community. It was the only human that these legends trusted, but the Guardians didn't tell them how they were slaying anything trying to enter the region. However, when he discovered this, he told the powerful orbs and hid the orbs all over the region. Without the orbs, the Guardians were powerless and fell asleep for centuries to come. But once an orb gets close enough to a Guardian, it can harness its true power. Varanius is now awake, and it will surely awaken the other guardians. The man in red foolishly believed that they just being descendants would tame the creature. However, you are the last known descendant of the messenger. Well, besides your father, that is. Your father could indeed save us. However, your father doesn't realize the power he has over Naljo. He won't be able to handle it. He's too obsessed with his fame and fortune nowadays. There's no luring him out of that. As his lone child, 
You are Naljo's one hope in taming the guardians for us. A lighthouse lies north and a good friend of mine is watching over it. Perhaps he saw where Varanius went afterwards. Find a way to the head up north. Find a way to head up north. Find a way to head up north. Agron! It's your fault! Okay. Agron, he doesn't mean it. He's just, you know, he's kind of loopy from the medication you gave him. It's okay, man. Like, don't let him shout at you. You know, you... you could literally kill him if you wanted to, alright? Don't let him talk to you. But all that story plot was dropped in our head. All of that. Just ready to go. Jesus. And, uh, like I said in the beginning of the series, like, I I wasn't sure whether I should have spoiled it or not, because I did say that I am the son of land since the very beginning, because it almost seemed like it wasn't in dramatic fashion. Like, it, it, it almost was, but it's almost weird that the player knows and the perspective of the viewer doesn't. Or, not the player, you know, the avatar, and then that the player would uh, find out. Because there has been movies where, like, the main character knows something that the viewer doesn't. But, uh, I don't know, like, I feel like it would have been better had you known in advance. That's why. But if you guys don't think so, then uh, by all means, I apologize in advance for just saying outright that I am the son of Lance. Because I think knowing in advance is better than knowing it now. If it wasn't dramatic enough, you know, had the scene been be uh, different. But, yeah, all that. <laughs> A lot of it just happened. It just got unfolded to us. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go over here and, and do their thing, but um, might as well go over here, which is why I didn't want to heal my Pokemon all the way. I kind of wasted some burgers, but just to be sure that I wasn't gonna stumble upon anything. But uh, we're almost towards the end of the episode because in the next episode, because I'm pretty sure they'll let us go up north now and I battled everybody here everybody everybody it's almost embarrassing let's see so you have some bricks want to give them to me so I can build a bridge so this is the guy that I was talking about that you needed to have 20 brick pieces if you don't have 20 brick pieces at this point then I believe it's Oxala City if you go to the Pokemon Mart they're very cheap that you can buy them and uh yeah you know unless you just spend all your money then I don't, i'm not really sure i guess you would just have to sell some stuff but a uh, very affordable but uh, yeah this is the point where you need to build them i'm not really sure what changed his mind maybe the elder just go like hey the whole region is screwed over you might want to build a bridge but here you go good time to get to work all right how invigorating well, that's my, that's my workout for the week. I'm done, bye. Okay, well, I was about to say, are you gonna try to walk away? What's going on here, man? We got a damp rock, that's for rain. That's good. All right. What do you have to say? I feel like I should talk to you from now on. The city north is still developing. They saw this big piece of ocean and just said, hey, why don't we build a city on that? I just found that the notion hilarious. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, this creeped me out. But we're here in Acania Dock. I hope I'm saying that right. Acania, Acania, Acania. And there's a gym here. Of course, we're gonna do that in the next episode. But first, let's go talk to some people. It's crazy. This used to be nothing but sea. Who knows where they build the next Naruto town? All right, I feel like I'll easily get out of order, so I'll try not to. I still haven't gotten a Pokemon. I don't know where the freak. Do you have a? Is that a later on or? Oh, it's an Agron. I I thought it was an Agron at first, but I wasn't sure. Rar, everybody has an Agron, but me. This way, in decent place to live in, until that gym leader showed up. She uses gas type Pokemon, and that foul odor is unpleasant. Oh, uh, well. Welp, Mang. My Eevee evolved into a Glacian while training its heart in the Clafrite Tunnel. However, my wife's Eevee evolved into a Leafeon instead. 
I'm not sure why, but the theory I have is that we were in vastly different areas. Yeah, I forget where Leafeon evolves to. Uh, it, it may be uh, somewhere entirely else, I don't know. The lighthouse is still under heavy construction, but they're going to use the power of Fire Pokemon to lit it up. Keep it lit. Otherwise, it would be way too dangerous to head up to the east. My Pokemon and I are so tempted to chop the docks. That would impress Andre, right? Uh, 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 I want to be his disciple. God, stop being his disciple. It's not that big of a deal, man. If you surf east, you'll end up in the region region. Somebody built a teleporter that takes trainers who collected all the knowledge badges to the region 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 league. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Keep on misreading stuff. Uh, um, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not sure why I'm healing, but I am. Because I know my Pokemon are fully healed, so I really don't need this. Alright, let's keep talking to people. I want to see if they give me stuff or if they say anything. This is right, 82. Oh yeah, we could get a Pokemon here if we wanted to. The calm sea is just so relaxing. I can feel I can fall asleep just standing here and staring at it. Your Pokemon can fall asleep too with this too. Got TM44, which is more likely rest. Team 44 is rest! Your Pokemon will fall asleep and recover all of itself! Alright, let's see what these people have to say. The gold tokens are so cleverly hidden from me! Alright, luckily, there's the internet to help me out. Do you have anything useful? I'll trade your gold tokens for prizes. Whoa, there's a lot of things here. So we got PP up. Ether, Metal Powder, which I'm not sure what it is, Quick Claw would be really handy, Max Ether, and the QR Reader. So if you didn't spend on the Lucky Egg like myself, you could do it on this. Uh, you know, just like those QR codes where it has like a little print picture thing. It, it actually works on real QR scanners if you have it on your phone too, but I don't want to do that. I, uh, I think it's just better if I just get it here from the game because that's what it's meant to be instead of just whipping out the phone because you could also do that with other things uh, if you're trying to figure out something if you're just going to keep on whipping out your phone, you know? Uh, so uh, I'll just buy it once I have the stuff because the QR scanner is very important for what you need in the future, so there is that. The Canyon Dog, Dog by Way to the World. Oh, okay. I already talked to you, so let's go her. Hey, sir. Paralysis. It can do wonders in changing the outcome of battles with Pokemon. See for yourself. So, we got TM63, which is... TM63 contains Thunder Wave. It, it'll paralyze the foe unless, of course, the foe is ground type. I'm pretty sure you can still stun spore them or body slam them and they get paralyzed. Do you see the lighthouse there? The Guardians disallowed building it way back then. Who knows where they are now or if they're even alive still. What's up here, actually? What's this place? Kenyan Dock Fire Lighthouse. So I think I have to go here. I just don't know if I should be here first or later. Or 68. So we could get three Pokemon here. I don't know if I want to though. Because I, I don't know. But yeah. Looks like that's going to be it for this video. Um, I want to do one more thing. Because I don't want to just end it off just like that. Like this episode was pretty epic thus far. And I don't want to... I don't want to just, like, leave it off like that. So I think what we could do, just briefly, is get ourselves a good old time... Uh, wait, I'm in Terrania City, yeah? No, no, I'm in Laurel City. I almost got confused. If we go down here, because we got Rock Smash now, we could go back to this spot. Because, in that Charizard Den, we did see something special. There's a Teddy Ursa here. I didn't see a Teddy Ursa when I got here. I'm pretty sure I saw a Pidgey when I got here. And yeah, we could do that. 
and we could do that. All right, I'm gonna go use a good old super repel. I got five more. All right, because in this spot right here, if you remember, there's like a Pokemon that could be kind of separate, and they do their own thing, which is cool. It's always cool. So let's go do that. Uh, we'll we'll look at all the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. The Clefairy won't let you pass. Send Scar instead. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just showing off the sprite. Yeah, yeah. Check me out. Check me out. Kohiro. All right. Let's go uh, show off. Bale. Check out Bale right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already showed off Magnus. It's kind of weird that I, uh, you know, I haven't changed since. Because that was like 10 episodes ago, and everybody else has changed. Not only that, but like, you know, the full team has changed. But you know, I'll tell you who hasn't changed, because you remember this price uh, for Alligator? This is where you got kidnapped. Maybe I shouldn't remind you of that, but it looks very different in the nighttime. Alright, one more Pokemon, and it's the one that I want to go over here since you have the Rock Smash. And that'll be it for this episode. Yeah, yeah, Meganium time, Meganium time. Alright, hopefully these Charizards won't uh, kill. Meganium, because that would be bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, there is some things that I didn't know about this place, and, and those things are pretty much that you could actually battle Pikachu, and there's different outcomes, and there's different ways that you could get, uh, that you could get, um, you know, Kuro shards and stuff like that, so it's pretty incredible that was close thank goodness I was saved is there anything else that I could talk to you guys about these humans may be annoying and pathetic but they are pushing my offspring to the limit much further than I would push when my old father we will keep the honorable bloodline of our family going forever All right, what about you I often question how my partner wants to raise her child but you must understand that this is tradition in his family. Well, at least it's kind of a good note that Charmander will uh, eventually become a stronger version of, uh, of you know, a stronger version of a Charizard. But this is the rock smashable rock right here. Let's see what's behind it. All right, Pokeball. It's three mining picks. Okay, cool. And I think there was like a certain rock that we could do to, uh, I don't know, open up to, not, not, not that, but like, uh, use a mining pick on. Can I just run off? No, I can't. All right. But yeah. Oh, Christ. Now I can see Pokemon. No, it's a Spinarak. I'm weak against Spinaraks. Let me just go. Let me use a freaking repel. I don't have a repel. Uh, I have three mining picks ready to go. How come... Oh, I can't go there. How come, uh... Whatchamacallit? Like... My Kuroshar's not in my pocket, and I have three mining picks there. Am I supposed to stay here and use them or something? Or do I keep it? Or not? Or yeah? Or not? Or yeah? Alright, where's the exit? I must require to go on the exit. I, I think there is another spot where I can rock smash things. I'm just not too familiar where. So, there is that. I wish I could still use super repels. Like, why can't you just put it in your pocket, man? Please don't tell me you have arena trap. Alright, cool. I went the wrong way. Yay. We're almost done though. We're almost done. We'll go fly to Fallacia City, if that's what it's called. Or Fallacia. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. 
I, I apologize for my ignorance of not pronouncing stuff right. Yeah, I want to leave. All right, uh... Can I dig out of here? I could. Yeah. All right, now let's go fly out of here. And let's go to Terranius. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go, actually. Shoot. I'll go one of these days back to the Pachisi board. But, uh, not today. Can you dock us over there? What? Oh! That's where I could surf left pad. I see. Could I please get a Pokemon here? Like, it's not a big deal. I'll take anything. I just want to donate it later. Uh. No. I think the route to the left is where the Rock Smash Rock is. I could be wrong though. I don't really recall. There is like another trainer. No, that's a strength boulder. But what a, what was it this place or no? Not 78. There is. Haha. -ha. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to press that like button as we got TM28 dig. And uh, if you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you consider subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like playing video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, we are going to go do our gym battle over at uh, Acania Dock for our sixth gym batch. Isn't that exciting stuff? And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to grind. I still need to figure out what Pokemon I want to get, so there is that. So who knows? So who knows? But uh, regardless, let's go to Akania Duck and end off the episode. So yeah, White Tigers and Dragons to you, and you've been scarred by the night. I'm out. <laughs>